Day and <laughs> Moogie. Moogie rocking Leo. Okay, this is really, really uh, surprising. So, to give you some background, and if you're, it's your first time watching the uh, Brojo Cup, Moogie is a, uh, he's a uh, Nagoriki player. So it's very, very strange to see him playing uh, Leo, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe it's a uh, new matchup that he has been working on, I have no idea, but we shall see. Anyways, very, very bad burst here from Moogie, unfortunately for him. Well, luckily for him, Haruki wasn't quite able to punish him correctly, so it's still okay. Haruki, he is in full zoning mode. Unfortunately, he got hit by the standing K from <coughs> Moogie. Moogie trying to keep Haruki in the corner. He successfully did so. He went for this white, again for this white to side switch. So very nice blocks from Haruki. Unfortunately, he gets hit by the 4S. Counter hit. Oh, okay, he tried to go for a grab. But for, fortunately for Haruki, he had the YRC to make it safe. And here we go with the wake up DP. Okay, Nugget Burger unfortunately goes under Haruki. Haruki trying to get the, that knockdown, but Mugi really, really being very, very patient. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord. That chase was so good. And here we go with the grab for Haruki and the win. Very nicely done. First round goes to Haruki. Okay, let me check real quick uh, if we don't have any problems. No, I don't think we do. This is perfect. Okay, here we go with the second round. First round really doesn't mean anything, especially since Leo is not the uh, main character of Mugi. He's probably just testing the waters, maybe seeing if this matchup is a little bit easier for Leo than for Nagoriyuki. Okay, here we go with Haruki doing a good job of maintaining the pressure, trying to keep Mugi away. Mugi, very good use of the BRC right there. He gets the grab and the back turn. And he gets the overhead. Oh no, he didn't have any tension bar to make it a overdrive, but still, okay, here we go with the air grab by Haruki. Very nice. Oh, and here he goes with Mugi. He went, he let it rip, and nice whip punish. He even got the burst, man. Here we go, the combo. Lord, that did a lot, man. Wow, he got both the kill and the burst. This is absolutely disheartening for Haruki. It's still not over. He is in the corner, unfortunately. He got bite. Okay, very nice block on the overhead, and he punishes the sweep. Okay, here we go with the OTG. And okay, Mugi respecting a little bit more the onslaught. Very nice back dash into the grab. He gets the side switch. He even got the 2k into the 2d. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay, here we go with the quick dust, and this is not gonna kill. <laughs> Still one more chance for Haruki. Try to bring it back. Merci encore pour le sub. Hein. Non, ça, ça fait très plaisir. Okay, so here we go with the oh very nice backdash on the 2k of uh of Haruki right there from Mugi. Ah and here we go with the wake up DP and he's probably gonna try to chip, but no, just ascending K did it for the win. First round, first match, I'm sorry, goes for Mugi. Mugi rocking Leo, as I have mentioned previously. He is not a Leo main, not by any means. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go with the 2k 2d. Again, man, with the harassment, unfortunately, for Haruki, the 2D of Mugi comes out quicker. Well, the one of Leo, at least. Again with the 2D, man. This has been doing wonders for Mugi, man, to maintain the pressure. And here we go with the schmixes. Ah, he couldn't quite get the juggle right there, but it's still okay. He's got the uh, the Roman cancel to make it safe. And he goes for a grab. OTG. Okay, probably aware of the uh the <coughs> of the um the overdrive, the grab overdrive from Haruki. Didn't want to get grabbed in bag. In back, uh, in back state. But that being said, here we go with the wake up DP from Mugi. He manages to get the kill. Haruki in dire straits, not to be, uh, not to be dramatic and pessimistic. Things are looking pretty good for Mugi, but not so much for Haruki. Okay, here we go with the guard point. Let's maintain the pressure using this bite. But Haruki being extremely patient right there doesn't want to get knocked down. He gets knocked down with the 2D counter hit. It's a very nice combo right after. Tries to go behind the minions to. It prevent Mugi from doing monkey stuff, I suppose. Unfortunately for Haruki, he gets sweeped by the 2D. Very nice. So uh, that, that was probably a uh, option select. 2K into the uh, standing S. Ah, unfortunately, he gets it. Okay, very nice. Uh, <laughs> very nice DP from Mugi. Um, unfortunately, he is again in zoning land. Trying to find the opportune moment. And here we go with the DP. Does he have the combos? Okay, went for normal combo. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna connect on you, girl. <laughs> this attack, this overdrive does ridiculously low amount of damage. Okay, tries to go for a regular, just run up and press P. Uh, there we go. And the quick dust, unfortunately, not enough to kill. Ah, uh, he's gonna get hit by the fireball. This is really unfortunate. 
Second match goes to Haruki, uh, not Haruki, I'm sorry, to Mugi yet again. Mugi has, uh, Mugi is actually doing a very good job of, uh, yeah, keeping the pressure and here we go with the DP. Oh lord, and no, you do not bite me. Very nice grab from Haruki, finally punishes this bite. Here we go, the big nugget burger, the super nugget burger. Oh, and that fake out, man. Nope, I'm not gonna grab you. I'm gonna puni punish you, take the tail. You go again with the 2D, man. Godlike sweet, man. Here we go, you're in my world now, biatch. <laughs> Good stuff from Haruki, unfortunately not enough to kill. Ah, oh, and the DP, man, from Mugi, this guy is not afraid. A very nice block from Haruki. Ah, gets open with the close S counter hit. Again with the 2K2D. Ah, uh, you're, yep, yeah, here we go. Oh, no. I think this is not gonna do it. Oh, we got it! We got it! <laughs> Good stuff from Haruki finally manages to put one on the board. Even though if it, it's only a round though, so it doesn't mean quite a lot. But that being said, here we go. Very nice to get to the again. Gets grabbed though. Badly timed immediately right there. Okay, Haruki uses the uh uses the um the burst to keep Mugi in the corner. He definitely does not want him out and about, but unfortunately for Haruki, he's been backdashing quite a lot, giving some leeway and some uh, some real estate to uh to Mugi right there. Very nice 2D to catch the bad dash. Unfortunately, there we go with the wake up DP. Nah, again, and the schmixes are real. Is this gonna do? Ah, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, here we go back on hard knockdown in this fight for the kill. And Moogie, man. Moogie, Moogie, Moogie. Not letting up, man. Not letting up. Oh, and that DP round start, man. The disrespect is real. Haruki definitely in dire straits. He needs to make something happen. Here we go. Two trades in a row. <coughs> Sorry. There we go. Finally, the minion's doing some more here, trying to keep the pressure. Very nice uh, grab from Haruki. Goes for the sights uh, for the over for the cross up. There we go. Okay, he's got the corner. Okay, and this should do actually. I'm pretty sure it's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna kill. He's gonna kill. Good stuff from Haruki. Finally puts one on the board. Haruki shrinks and signs some signs of, of life right there. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see if he can maintain the pressure. Ah, 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 I think Mugi is going to switch to Nagori Mugi. We shall see, probably. Let's see how this pans out. <coughs> okay, this is bad. Okay, let's see, let's see. And I think, yes we do, Mugi going back to his old gun, man. Going back to the Nagori Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. Nagori Mugi desu yo. So desu yo. Ya, mo honkyo dasutan desu yo ne, Mugi-san. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Very nice use of Dominion. Again, here we go using Dominion as a soccer ball. And the big 6HS counter hit. Wants to push Mugi back in the corner and successfully does so. Good stuff from Haruki. This is looking pretty good actually. Nagori Mugi got the kitan desu yo ne. And here we go with the wall break. And Haruki actually doing a lot better against uh, against against uh, Nagori Yuki than he did against Leo. This is wow a perfect count. Wow, good stuff from uh, from Haruki. Definitely. Uh, I don't know if the 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 character changed with such a good idea. We shall see. Okay, Haruki making great job of keeping out of the range of Mugi. And Mugi trying to make his jump in. Couldn't quite get the opening. Oh, very nice back down though. Okay, there we go with the OTG. Ah, very nice bar right there from Mugi. Oh, and she goes for the command grab. Ah, I knew <laughs> that put you into the Beyblade, man. Okay, again, Nagori, uh, again, Mugi contesting, man, pressing buttons when it's not necessarily his turn. Here we go. Oh, he got the side switch. Oh, and a good 2S into the 2 8 into the standing HS for the kill. Mugi on game point. Let's see how this pans out. Goes for the cross up. It's a successful conversion off of it. Okay, we go close S for entire. He got the command grab. Again, the command grab. Ah, and close HS, unfortunately drops the combo, that would have been death by the way. Ah, yeah, and he finds the opening and immediately converts into the overdrive, this is gonna kill. Good stuff from 
Mugi on point, man. On point. And just like this, Mugi takes it. Here we go, Gobo fans against Daru Ino. Indonesia versus Korea. Let's see who is going to take it. Daru Ino has been rocking, you know, ever since she's out. And he's been yeah, basically just <laughs> studying her every single day. So let's see how this spins out. Okay, he's trying to go for the burst, trying to uh, get the burst out. But yeah, the pressure is relentless, man. But finally, Gobo managed to find a way out of the corner. But just like this, Daru Ino immediately puts him back. Okay, here we go again with the HCL. Gets rid of Eddie. Ah, uses no to apply pressure. Goes for ah, goes for the, the stroke against Hover and HCL for the kill. Good stuff from Daru. You know, it takes the first round. <laughs> okay, round number two. Let's see what Gobo fans has in store for us. Ah, again with the HCL man doing a good job of hitting Gobo out of the air, man. Gobo, <laughs> Gobo fans. I'm sorry. Okay, and here we go again using man the newly applied buffs from the uh, <clears throat> from the dive which if you choose your angle correctly now can actually be plus and block <clears throat> daru the god indeed and here we go with the empty low he's gonna get the corner combo into the wall break not actually goes for the grab and this should do good stock from daru you know, takes the first match very convincingly let's see if gobo fans uh yeah gobo fans sticking to his gun let's see how this spins out here we go immediately just jump in and using again the new newly applied buff to the uh to the uh, <laughs> to the uh, k the, the k um simple uh, damn it i forgot how you call it oh the k dive you know what i'm talking about again going to the air okay two hs trying to uh probably try to fish for a counter hit oh almost got the a and yrc right there this is unfortunate for global fans oh lord here we go with the 2s gets immediately hit by the hcl man Darino does not want to have to deal with against anything, man. But here we go. Finally, Gobo fans get something going. Uses the RC to extend his combo. Wants to keep Daru in the corner. He uses the frog. And nobody home. Okay, here we go. Takes to the air to try to apply pressure again. Here we go with the spikes. Oh. Okay, the pressure is real. Finally, Gobo fans. Oh, no. He almost got the confirm, but it's still okay. Gobo fans manages to take... One round, very good stuff, man. Good stuff from Global Fan. Just taking one round off of Daru Ino is in itself an exploit. It really is. I cannot under, I cannot like understate how freaking hard it is. <laughs> okay, here we go again with the standing, uh, the standing P into the uh, RC to extend, and Global Fan finds the opening, man, on the verge of taking it. Actually, good stuff. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, okay, he takes it to the air again, gets hit by the HCL, unfortunately. Ah, Darino is comfortable right now. He's got the knockdown. He's got the okay. He fails to get the conversion though, but it's still okay. And he goes for the command grab. Here we go, Megalomi and the house, y'all. Bye bye. <laughs> and it actually kills. My good lord. Good lord. That was crazy. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm gonna like, okay. And here we go for uh, the next uh, session. Just one second. Oh, cute, cute, prison cookie. I wanted to do this actually, the bye bye. <laughs> okay, anyways, here we go with the. Uh, here we go with the corner pressure from Darino. Goes for the double overhead, but yeah, Global fans actually just being very, very uh, respectful and not taking any chances. Gets open and unfortunately get the bait, the burst baited. This is unfortunate, but Global fans ah, and that use of the the faultless defense combined with the instant block man good stuff again with the dive and yeah this is relentless man it's so relentless ah very nice match right there from Darino is able to get rid of Eddie goes for the empty low couldn't quite get the connection but it's still okay he gets the 6p for the kill and just like this Darino up 2 to 0 what is Gobo fans going to do Gobo fans you might want to, st to switch to uh, Gold Lewis no <laughs> anyways there we go Ah, uh, and Darino finds the opening. Probably tried to bait the burst, I suspect. That being said, here we go. Very nice 6 spear right there to get rid of the aerial approach of Darino. Here we go. The schmixes are real. And Darino with the conversion station, man. That was crazy. Look at the damage. This is a combo I didn't know, actually. So it's perfect. I, it, oh, Lord, and the conversion. Uh, she tried to go for the Megalomania again, I'm sure. 
Here we go with the Toad and Gobo fans still on the onslaught trying to open Daru up, but Daru being, yeah, good job on the blocks and he lets it pop the overdrive. Good stuff for Tissimo. Okay, potential uh, match pointer here. Let's see how this turns out. Let me check real quick the, uh, the rest. Everything is good. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, and here we go. Ah, the aerial finding the opening. Uh, here we go with the aerial pro Jeff Gobo. Trying to get out of HCL range. Uses the oppose. Unfortunately, nobody's home. Very nice air to air. Yeah, trying to push Darino in the corner. Ah, very nice YRC again with the HCL. Man, it's been pestering Gobo fans so much. Okay, here we go with the spikes. Oh, ah, couldn't quite get the juggle. This is unfortunate. Ah, here we go. Yeah, a little bit too high for this dive, though. Go invites hell. Ah, do you have to air? He gets the juggle. He's probably gonna get no, no wall break for you. <laughs> he goes for the empty low. Finally forces Darino to pop the burst. And here we go, Gobo fan getting hit by the uh, aerial, uh, the jumping S H. I'm sorry. Okay, gets rid of Eno, uh, not Eno, of Eddie. <laughs> ah, here we go with the empty low. This is gonna do. Ooh, not quite. Just a little bit more for ah. Okay, here we oh, and again with the HCL on block for chip damage and the kill. And just like this, Daru, you know, he has been buffed in the recent patch, and people are starting to complain about him. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, this is quite surprising because yes, up until now the discourse, well, the, the usual conversation, the usual like thoughts about Andre was that he's basically trash. But uh, yeah, but I'm still saying this. But I'm I'm saying that he's I'm not saying that he's trash, but yeah, it's a pretty bad start for Johnny D for Johnny D. Not gonna lie. Here we go with RX and the relentless pressure. Look at this, man. Wow. Not the damage. Okay, well, it's okay. It's just the start. Here we go with the 2S counter hit, though. He's going to bring RX in the corner. Have some pretty nice damage. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, and here we go with the overdrive, man. But that was okay. Even if uh, Johnny D did block this, uh, RX did have two bars of tension, so he could have made it safe, uh, whatever the outcome. So that was actually the best. Uh, the best, um, well, the best choice for him. That means that here we go, John Lee is stained, he tries to go for the dance, Certainly nobody home. Oh, here we go, somebody home this time around, but John Lee pressing buttons on wake up, gets the jump in, forces RX to pop the burst. John Lee still with his, uh, wow, the reaction station from this young man. Okay, here we go with the grab, John Lee still holding on to his, uh, just as I say this, he gets rid of his burst. That being said, look at the damage, and he's gonna get the Scythe? No Scythe for you, okay. Probably wants to keep it for a later date. And here we go with the double RC, gets hit by the forest. Not gonna kill, is it? Ah, it is gonna kill. Wow, well, no, a little bit too far for the extension station, but gets hit by the far, uh, by the K. First match goes to RX, very beautifully done, not gonna lie. That being said, it's definitely not like completely one-sided. <laughs> There's definitely room for, uh, for um, how do you call this? For um, you know, for a comeback. That being said, here we go on to the next battle. We go with the Fujin. Very nice back dash from RX. Punishes the uh, overhead attempt. <laughs> Donidi still has the corner position. This is where Andri uh, unfortunately gets grabbed by RX. Probably delayed his grab a little bit too much. He might have been looking for a backdash from uh, RX in the corner. Oh, here we go with the... Yeah. Here we go with the standing P. Very nice quick overhead. He's not gonna get the kill, is he? Is he? He is! Good stuff from Zonny D. Good stuff, good stuff. One round on board. Let's see if he can take another one. Jingu Marimo san, hai. Mina ni yon desu ga. Shiai.初めてもよろしく。あ、えっと、そうですね。もし自分のキャットの方に案内がなければ<笑> そのまま、えっと、試合していただいても大丈夫です。
Oh monsieur, ça va bien nice, ça va très très bien et toi Je vais toujours bien moi, tu sais très bien que je vais bien. Enfin, quoi que, <rire> quoi que j'ai chopé d'influenza là récemment. Et là j'ai. Bah je viens tout juste de guérir mais j'ai encore ma voix qui est un petit peu euh, tu sais en mode euh, adolescent de 14 ans quoi. Mais à part ça tout va bien. Ouais. J'espère que toi aussi. Can you rego with the 4 S man and the RC for the extension station? Our ex is going ham, he wants to keep Zandi the in the corner, Zandi the does find a way out by using the Oh no and he gets it man. Oh no juggle for you though. Very nice air to air. Okay, Zandi the needs to make something happen. Ah now okay, here we go. Very nice tech from RX and again with the Oh okay finally forces RX to pop the burst. <laughs> okay, he goes for the Oh no, unfortunately he got oh, oh. She got the dance. Oh, very nice. Uh, this is probably not gonna do it still. Okay, that was close. Oh, and he gets scooped by the 2HS from RX. And RX takes the second match as well. Good stuff though from uh, Donny D, man. He's definitely in here. He's in here, he's in here. It's not one-sided as I have stated previously. So yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, how this is going to pan out. That being said, here we go with the Arbiter and RX keeping the pressure going on, man. He's got the wall break. There we go. Very nice grab from RX. And again with the far S uh, counter hit, man. This has been doing some wonders for him, man. And potential final match. Uh, match point, potential match point for RX. We shall see. Uh, he gets hit by the uh, counter. He triggers the counter from from Zonidi. Zonidi has the corner position again. Hits RX with the overhead. Forces RX to pop the burst. Ah, uh, gets hit by the stain. This is unfortunate. Again stained. Ah, uh, and gets his back dash caught by the teleport. Man, this is really unfortunate. Perso, ça va. Je bosse sur mon stream comme d'habitude. On entend ça. Okay, and here we go again with the pressure, man. Doesn't want to let RX... Ah, uh, but this is probably gonna do. Yeah, this is gonna do. Good stuff from RX gets the kill with a beautiful dribble. Uh, this match, unfortunately. Because I have some problems. Okay, um, my lord. Okay. I'm really sorry I have some uh, technical issues. Oh, not technical issues, but I need to take care of a couple of things. Okay, so I have this one. Okay, this should be. Sorry for the wait. Really, really apologies for the wait. And here we go with the first match going to Takarin. Oh, good stuff. Le mec qui est en chauffage. Ouais, t'as vu, t'as vu. Je suis en t-shirt, bah ça porte. Là, il fait froid, mec. Il fait froid. Okay, so uh, we have Takarin here. 
So then uh, next match is gonna be Pukaku. Here. Okay. Okay, okay, we're good. Peace, damn, good stuff from Joker Slayer. Finally, puts one on the board. Okay, and I am going to do this. Okay, we're good. Okay, so back to commentaries. <clears> this <throat> okay, so one zero. Very nice entire bite. Joker Slayer finally is going to put Takarin in the corner. Got the grab. They didn't go for the uh, for an OTG and even managed to take it with a perfect. Wow, Joker Slayer doesn't joke around, man. Good stuff. Actually, putting a putting quite a fight against uh, Takarin. Takarin, none other than probably the best Axel player in Japan. And Axel has been buffed recently, whereas uh, Gold Lewis has been, uh, well, has been nerfed, uh, especially his mind game. <laughs> his mind game, no, no pun intended, by the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, he has been nerfed, so it might be a little bit harder for him to actually, you know, get stuff going. That being said, Joker Slayer did manage to take one off of Takani. This in itself is quite a feat, I am not going to lie. <laughs> okay, and that being said... Yeah, that makes it look good. There we go. Okay, we'll go with the zoning game. Takani, uh, try to make his RC safe. Uh, try to make his uh, his entire safe right there. Well, his uh, oh no, this is gonna kill. It's probably gonna kill. Oh no, too many combos. Too many hits in this combo, and unfortunately, drop the combo. And is this going to kill? This is going to kill the character mastery from. Takarin, I'm telling you, man, that is cray cray. Good stuff from Takarin. Brought it back. Okay, here we go with Takarin trying to keep Joker Slayer away. Ah, here we go with the jump in from Joker Slayer, man. Good stuff. Goes for the Behemoth. Ah, captures the Bagdash. Unfortunately, a little bit too far to get anything out of it. Okay, goes for Behemoth. Behemoth again. And you press the button and you're dead. Oh, not quite. Almost dead. Ah, here go the behemoth. No punish on the recovery. <laughs> ah, and here we go the jumping D, man. The jumping D. Probably the best button of Gold Lewis. Okay, and here we go with Takarin again, man. Ah, almost got... <laughs> Couldn't quite punish the behemoth. The recovery of the behemoth there. Ah, tries to go for the minigun, unfortunately gets jumped on by Takarin. <laughs> hey, Joker Slayer got the side switch. Tried to hit him with the behemoth, a little bit too far for this. Ah, c'est pas un problème, sera t'inquiète. Merci quand même d'avoir essayé de participer, ça fait plaisir. Merci beaucoup, gros bisous. Okay, and here we go again, man, with Takarin. Ah, trying to keep him zib zib. <laughs> okay, Joker Slayer has got the corner pressure, unfortunately tries to. It's a little bit too greedy, tries to go for a grab, but Takarin was ready, just jumped over it and punished him on his way down. Very nicely done. Down to potentially the final set of this match. We shall see. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Finally, Takarin finds the opening with the overhead. Here we go with Senlen Gigi. Sickle Storm. Len Sen Gigi, by the way, not Senlen Gigi. <laughs> Well, again with the jump in, man. Takarin on point when it comes to this. Oh, okay, he goes for the jumping D. Almost got hit by the 2S. The 2HS gets hit by the 2HS. <laughs> 2HS again, and Takarin finds the opening with the 2K 2D. Okay, goes for a custom combo. Tries to get the O underground. Unfortunately, a little bit too late on his maneuver. Gets him with the 2S and... Finishes with the juggle. Good stuff with Takarin potentially on match point. So let's see how this pans out. Ah, gets it by the behemoth, man. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord, man. Ah, again with the 2S, but nobody helm. Okay, Snail to try to uh, hit the Joker Slayer uh, and catch him mashing buttons. 
Gonna go with that. Axel Bomber is on the verge of taking it. Yeah, Joker Slayer does have the burst though, so. Still not. Yo, Zoom terrific. Good evening, man. How you doing? <laughs> oh, Gary, go with the Behemoth, man. Behemoth is in the house. Yeah, he finds the opening. Is this gonna do? This is gonna do. And Joker Slayer stays alive. Looking actually pretty good right now. He has his burst. Ah, and the jumping D, man. It's doing the job, man. It's doing so good. Ah, here we go with the Lensen Giki again. Ah, no. Joker Slayer pops the burst, man. Here we go. Ah, and the pressure is real, man. But no. Takarin, man. Just, just decide. Oh, Lord. Lord. <laughs> Takarin has been blocking for the last freaking 15 seconds or so. Finally gets opened up. What are you gonna do, Takarin? Oh, Takarin pressing buttons at the opportune moment. Oh! No. <laughs> Good stuff from Joker Slayer, man. Slinks still alive, still alive, yo. Mm. By the way, j'ai pas pu m'enseigner, mais la close beta 2 euh, de la deuxième beta de SF6 c'était comment par rapport à un problème? Tu très bien. Bah les deux étaient très bien, de toute manière, il y avait pas trop, il y avait pas de problème de network, il y a rien. Et puis c'était, moi bon, c'était à peu près identique à la première quoi. Je crois qu'ils ont, ils ont comment dire, ils ont modifié quelques deux trois petits trucs genre. Euh, de, de certains coups des persos, il me semble que Gaël, avant il avait genre un pseudo inf infini et là ils l'ont retiré enfin ils ont, ils ont, ils ont fait en sorte qu'ils qu qu puissent plus euh, faire un de ces combos qui faisait genre 90% de, de, de vie dans la bêta 1 bah à part ça j'ai pas l'impression que j'ai changé grand chose mais en tout cas non c'était cool, enfin moi j'ai bien kiffé je vais ça, je vais l'acheter dès le premier jour ce jeu Here we go with Takarin man, finding the opening with the rainwater counter hit Find... ah, goes with the empty low, gets the juggle with the Oh no! Here we go with the new combos, man, and the double axle bomber right after the world for the kill. Good stuff, good stuff. Ah, it's cool. Moi, j'ai vraiment beaucoup aimé. Here we go with the air to air by Takarin, man. Finds the opening. Ah, again with the overhead. A little bit too far to punish. The follow up of the sickle storm. Finds the punish. Well, actually, uh, commits to the snail, and Joker Slayer is caught either jumping or pressing buttons. Probably jumping. There you go with the mine, finally do your job! <laughs> but Rainwater is here to hit Joker Slayer on his head. J'ai pas eu l'accès au close Ah ouais, non, c'est dommage, c'est triste. Non, vraiment c'était cool. Et mais ouais, c'est vrai que ceux qui jouent sur. Um... Oh lord! Is this gonna hit? Oh no, lord! How did he not get hit? That was crazy! Ah, but yeah, oh, this is bad, and here we go with YoTG for the kill, that was so freaking close, man, good stuff from Takarin. Very, very nice match. Uh, so yeah, Poka versus Jinguzi Marimo. Marimo for short. So, let's see how this pans out, both from Japan, by the way. We have a lot of uh, international representation today, so I'm quite happy. A lot of Korean players, which is always good to and always welcome. So yeah, this is actually pretty cool. So let's see how this one goes. And here we go, immediate, immediate burst, man. By Marimo doesn't want to have anything to do with all of this pressure. And Polka is already starting his, though. Look at this. There we go. Yeah, Polka not afraid to just go straight in. Resource to using the roll as a mix tool, as it should, actually. And this is going to be Deus Ex to the kill. Air six. <laughs> Good stuff from Polka takes the first round. Let's see how this comes out. <coughs> ah, uses the curse. Try to put some distance between him and Marimo. Again with the roll for the mix-ups. Oh, yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. So Happy Gals did get nerfed in this uh, this um, this version of the game. But apparently, well, most people tend to agree that the nerfs didn't really change anything. If anything, it made him stronger. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, it is something. That being said, here we go. Poka is getting pummeled right there. Very nice back dash from him. Didn't quite confirm though. He gets out of the corner thanks to his toss up. Goes for the instant overhead. Well, it goes for the uh, quick overhead from the dust. And very nice grab from Marimo, and he should be able to seal the deal. And here we go. Very nice stuff from Marimo staying alive. Puts one round on the board as well. We go third duel, third round. Okay, here we go with the dust, uh, with the, the burst, finally. 
Okay, good stuff. Just one second, guys. There we go. And you're going with the quick dust yet again by Poka. It's been working very nice for him. And that bag that from Mario Mobeto unfortunately got scooped by the 2S that was following up. And here we go with the wall splat. And again with the wall splat and the 6 for the kill. They're 6. <laughs> Good stuff from Poka. Takes the first match. Let's see if Jinguji Marimo is going to be able to bring it back. We shall see. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Again with the roll. Are you not ready to grab these? That being said, it's extremely hard to react to. Uh, try to go and to bait the burst, but yeah, Poka being uh, yeah being reasonable and not popping the burst there, but he does burst it here, unfortunately. That being said, here we go. Poka, yeah, using the cross up to get out of the corner. But he will not afraid of pressing buttons at opportune times. Ah, and here we go with the... Wow, this is gonna kill? No, it's not. No, it is. Whoa. Damn. Good stuff from uh, Marimo. Extremely nice confirms right there. Ah, and that far HS4. Uh, round start. Extremely potent button by... Ah, and that bad... And that quick... Uh, that just guard though from Poka. Uses the roll again to try to push Marimo in the corner and get a mix at the same time. We're gonna see it there in Deus Ex. No, we're not a little bit too far for the quick dust. Oh lord, how do you block this? And again with the quake uh, dust for. Oh, nice stuff, man. Uh, 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 uh yeah. Uh, he was out of. Oh lord. Oh lord, here we go with the BRC text, man. That was sick. That was sick. Good stuff from Marimo, man. That was nice. Ah, and he gets good by the grab. Good stuff by Poka, though. Ah, that was crazy good, man. Okay, and on to the next. Ah, immediate dirt uh, burst right there from uh, uh, from Poka. Uh, unfortunately, gets scooped out of the air, and Poka not afraid to just jump uh, to to run straight, man. Okay, no more scapegoat for you. <clears throat> Ah, yeah, very nice, uh, very nice use of the 6H, uh, from, from, uh, ah, again with the double dust, man, what do you do? Uh, and here we go, man, Marimo popping the overdrive. Okay, good stuff. Ah, I ran straight into the bullet. And just like this is gonna kill? Is he in the corner? Yeah, he's gonna kill. Good stuff from Poka takes the second match as well. Looking good, man. Looking really good. Look on the verge of making his way to the semi-finals. Yo, okay, back to neutral. Ah, you got him cursed. Oh, no Sogeki time. Okay, no roll this time around. Ah, a little bit too early on his uh on his Sogeki. <laughs> ah, the Lord in that far HS, man. Ah, he's got the scapegoat, just yeah, to make sure that. He can stay protected. Ah, and Marimo, this is an unfortunate uh, burst. Poka gonna get the juggle into the air six. <laughs> air six. <laughs> I love this attack, man. Okay, that being said, here we go, man. And Poka on match point. How's this going to pan out? <clears throat> okay, here we go. The pressure is real, man. <coughs> Very nice scapegoat. Tries to keep Marimo in the corner. Marimo finds the opening with the kickflip. Ah, gets the juggle. Good stuff. And here we go with the uh, fully charged dust. Marimo trying to stay alive. Not very easy. 6 HS. And here we go with the um, with the the button presses from Marimo. Again with the cross up from Polka gets out of the corner, gets the wall splat into air six. The boom. What is gonna be the Oki? We shall see. Curse. Ah, uh, yeah. You're in my world now, and this should do. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. Dire straight for Marimo, man. Ah. Uh, 
Ah, that was the Q. Ah, and get scooped by the 2K, man. The newly nerfed 2K, by the way. <laughs> to add. Okie dokie, Bridges and Cookie. Almost uh, in the semi-finals, by the way, we are. Still have some more time, though. <clears throat> Here's the start of the round. Immediate back I-80 from Kohide. Ah, gets the opening with the 4K uh, counter hit. <laughs> the slider head. Immediate wake up burst, man, from Kohide. Oh, Lord, and that just different from the Kohide, man. Here go the 2D. Uh, 2S, I'm sorry. Finally forces Nico to pop the burst. He gets hit by the hammer fall. Ah, yep. You are caught pressing button. What are you gonna do? Here we go to make a fist for the uh, wall break. <laughs> and the back bang of fist, and he's got it. Good stuff from Nico Zidu. Gets the command grab. Good stuff. First round to Nico Zidu. Oh lord, and Kohide with the uh, front dash gets scooped though by the 2S from Nekojiro. Double dash into grab, again with the grab, but to keep the corner position. Ah, and the kick flip, man, this is so hard to see. He even get a freaking combo, which does a double side flip, a uh, double side switch to keep the corner position. Very nice walk under. Well, uh, dash under, unfortunately gets scooped by the grab. And the command grab. Yeah, boom! Is this gonna kill? I tried to, yeah. Tried to. Oh, but no, you got too greedy there, sir. Good stuff from Kohide, though. Gets the kill. <coughs> okay, on to the final round. Who's gonna take it? Definitely good for morale to take this one. Okay, 2k, 6p into the Trovao. <coughs> Ah, I guess goodbye to command grab again. Potemkin Basta. Oh, you are oh, again with the command grab, man. That Nicholas Zero. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for another one. Oh, and the butt slam for the kill. Good stuff for Nicholas Zero. He takes the first match. Very good move. Today. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, on to the next battle. <coughs> Go to Mega Fist. Ah, and he got no, he couldn't quite punish the gold burst right there. This is unfortunate. We got the hammerfall. Koide has to hold it, but just does a Rana Sante and it gets him out of the corner. Good stuff. Go with the grab. Goes for the safe jump. Again with the grab. Ah, tries to probably bait the, gr the tech right here. Still okay, he's got the wall break. But. Koide is one hit away from getting... Yeah, but it's still okay. So, Gojiru decides to keep his burst for the next round. It was one, one command grab away from dying though, but... Wow. It is what it is. Okay, here we go with the tech pressure. Ah, again with the standing K counter hit. Standing K into the Trovao for the extension. Ah, again, man. It's been, it's been working so good for him, man. Probably betting on uh, Nekojiru. Uh, tendency to press a button when uh, she sees the dash from, from Giovanna, I guess. We'll go it again with the hammer fall. Ah, Lord, gets scooped by the close S counter. This, this is a lot of damage. And wake up, overdrive from Kohide, man. There's only so much pressure you can apply. Ah, good stuff. I tried to grab him, but Nico Giro on point with his back dash punishes accordingly. Good stuff, even with the butt slam for the kill. Oh, here we go, the double dash grab. Yep. Close pressure and the, five, the far HS counter. It finally, Nikoji gets out thanks to his uh, Garuda Impact combo. He gets some more real estate, but is immediately sent back to the corner. Kick flip to keep the corner positioning. Kohida resorts to dashing and grabbing. <coughs> oh, hammer fall into Garuda Impact. Ah, cat, you. I caught you back, that's a good stuff, here we go, Nasante. Oh, and he's got the burst, this is gonna kill. Good stuff from Kohide, puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff, man. That's good. Okay, let's see if Nikojiro is going to change character. He is not committing to his one and true uh, recipe for victory, which is none other than Potemkin.
But I'm King who did receive some quality of life uh, uh, buffs, if I'm correct. But still a little bit far to be considered like completely like top tier, I suppose. Mm. Here we go with Grid Impact again. Close S, close S, man. Ah, here we go the back Mega Fist, man. And the far S into the far chest for the. <laughs> because you know, with the disrespect, man, hitting the corpse. Again with the dash grab from Kohide. Ah, Mega Fist. Ah, nice jump in. Unfortunately, but it's okay. He still got the grab. Keep pressure. Ah, goes for the back Mega Fist yet again. Ah, he's got the grab. I'm in your head. With the hammer fall. Man, the grab again for the kill. Because you're on point, man. Because you're out for blood. Out for blood, I say. Okay, Kohide is down two matches. What is he gonna do? Potential final set of this um, of, of this set. <laughs> Potential final set of this match. Again with the dash grab. Giovanna is a dash character. Do not fed yourself. Do not think otherwise. She is a grab character. A nice flip kick to get the corner positioning again and add some damage as well. Yeah, and gets hit by the hammer fall, man. Nice back dash though from Kohide, but he gets scooped by the oh, command grab. Is this gonna kill? I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. It's definitely good. Oh no! Ooh! And the back being is for the kill chip, the chip kill, man. This is unfortunate. And again, attacking the corpse of Kohide. Disrespect from this man, man. We love to see it. Ah, and Garuda in fact catches the back dash. Kohide, yeah, you can sense that Kohide is a little bit angsty right now. Because uh, for information, yeah, in Japan it's uh, it's frowned upon to uh, to hit the corpse of your your opponent when he when you obviously win. Ah, he tried to go for the big brains, but oh no, and the delayed butt slam for the kill, and Nikos Yuru takes it. Okay, so it's gonna be none other than RX versus Poka. So Poka, you saw him a little bit. Just like literally one match before. And uh, he is the young prodigy, the uh, happy chaos player, playing against a veteran though, RX, who is a extremely potent, uh, extremely proficient, I'm sorry, <laughs> testament player. So let's see how this pans out. Immediate counter it uh, at the start of the match. That being said, Polka does take the, uh, does take the momentum back. He has RX right in the corner, right where he wants him. Very nice use of the Arbiter right there to hit Poka in his, yeah, on his um, attempt to uh, snipe Rx from the other side of the room. Again with the juggle, good stuff from Poka. Probably looking to get the ball splat or at least keep the corner positioning. And again, man, with the juggle for the kill, good stuff. Hmm. Okay, here we go. The corner positioning is here. Very nice bag that from, from Poka, man. <laughs> ah, he's got the well splat. I got the well splat. What is the mix? Very nice blocks, but unfortunately, there's only so much you can block. I think there was a small error from Poka. He didn't mean to break the wall, pretty sure. Here we go with the Sogeki. Hmm. Ah, he wants the burst. Yeah, wants the burst of RX. RX remaining patient and gets rewarded for doing so. He's got the corner positioning. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, and the oh look, the damage. Good stuff from RX. RX staying alive. Ah, okay, here we go back to. Uh, try to hit him with the arbiter. Very nice back dash though from RX. Ah, gets hit by the low though, and again with the quick dust for the opening man. And the corner positioning for Polkat, things are looking very good for him. The double overhead. <laughs> RX remaining, man. The, the freaking blocks of RX is godlike. I'm sorry. He did end up getting open. But did you see the double overhead block that he did? That was... Mugi got sent to the losers? Wait, who? Uh, RX? Um, yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, that's surprising. That being said, here we go. The pressure from RX is real. Wants to keep Polka in the corner. 
Very nice just defense by Pokemon. Look at the oh lord. How did Poka find like the opportune moment to press a button? I do not know. That was crazy, man. That being said, here we go with Poka going with the uh, Quick Dust. Ah, RX tried to press a button at that particular moment. Unfortunately, got scooped by Poka. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Good stuff from Poka. He's got the wall break. And we go with the. Arbiter. Oh lord. Oh lord. And that 6p from Oryx was godlike. Godlike, I tell you. Ah, too far. Too far to live. And unfortunately, Oryx is going to lose this one. Too soft to live. Good stuff from Oryx. Uh, from Poka, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man, Poka, he's been running so far from the other side of the screen and still manages to find the opening, man. It's crazy. Okay, and here we go with the wall splats. Again with the quick throw, with the quick dust, man. And again with the quick dust, again with the quick dust. That is gonna be a do six. Air six. You may become the hero of this story. And a double overhead for the kill. And just like this, Poka, man, up one. Well, up two, actually. And potentially the final match of the set. Thank you very much for the follow tunes and welcome to the Bro Joe. Ah, unfortunately, the Arx already with the first man. Ah, this is looking a little bit dire for our Testament prodigy man. Not easy. Ah, okay, finds the opening with the forest and Boga with the 2K man. 2K into the Roman cancel. The freaking confirms. Good stuff from him. Okay, he's got the corner, he's got the... Ah, yeah, this is gonna kill. Good stuff. Juggle 6 HS. Juggle 6 HS. Good stuff. We are on match point, ladies and gentlemen. What is RS going to do? Okay, Poka finds the opening with a 2K 2D. Tried to get another 2D and couldn't quite get it. Here we go with the 2K 2D again. Ah, too far for the over... Uh, for the, uh, for the dust loop. For the dust overhead. <laughs> oh, even on point to catch the freaking teleports from RX, man. Poka, he has it all. Oh no, he's got the burst as well. What are you gonna do, RX? What are you gonna do? Lord, ah, oh, this is gonna be hard. Ah, oh, Lord. Ah, uh, here's your Q. Oh, look at this, man. Oh, this is so crazy. How? The cojones on this young dude, man. A young man, freaking Konjo, man. Young, young man. Oh lord, but yeah, Oryx is not out of it yet. He didn't say his last words yet. Oryx still in there. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, again, back to the... Oh, Sogeki no Shima there. Nope, no Arbiter for you. Ah, and here we go with the roll. Finally, Oryx gets open. Ah, but the Quick Dust, man, Oryx so good to block these Quick Dusts, man. Okay, here we go, Quick Dust again, Quick Dust again. Oh no, and got shimmied for it. Again, okay, Puka got the corner position again with the quick dust, man. Nope. No one here. Ah, oh, no, not like this. Fortunately for him, he didn't have any bullets, but still, with the last bullet, Puka sends our X back to the match. Uh, Nikozera versus Daru Ino Caster votes. And we are on. Here we go. And Darino just casually, casually just freaking jumping on Nikoziru. Doesn't even hover, you know. Good stuff. Okay, here we go. Probably try to go for a yeah for this, actually. But still good. He has the uh, wall break. Ah, and Daru Ino on point with the onslaught. Nikoziru doesn't want to yeah, commit to uh, pressing buttons. And just like this, Daruna actually manages to take the first round. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go with the air to air, and Daruna almost got the juggle, couldn't quite get it, unfortunately. He tries to use the HCL, unfortunately, Nikoji was already out of range to get hit by it. Goes for the empty low. Into the wall break. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Z Z X C. Ah, Kumo Sanka. Arigato for the follow. Forosei itadaki, arigato Oh, and here we go, man. 
with the burst bait. And just like this, Daru Sensei in the house, y'all, taking names and taking lives and taking rounds and taking matches. First match goes to Daru. So, Bat Karma, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to Tomorrow Joe. Okay, here we go. Start of the round. Unfortunate slider head right there from the Kozu. He did manage to get the gold burst though, so this is perfect for him. Goes for another uh, slider, not slider head, for the um, hammer fall. Got Daru in the corner, a little bit too far to hit with the uh, with the Garuda impact. That being said, we go with Daru, you know, doing a good job of mixing both D note and the uh, DHCL. Very nice combo right there from Daru. Okay, goes for ah, just the regular. Ah, this is gonna kill. Good stuff. Good stuff from Daru. Already up. One match in one round. And here we go with the knockdown. What is the mix? <laughs> and here we go for the grab. You never expect a grab when you, you're fighting against him, you know. Ah, and here he goes with the delayed jumping D to uh, basically blow up the shimmy attempts. Well, the, the, the chicken jump attempts or the fuzzy guard attempts from Nikojiro. And win with a perfect man. What is he? He's on a freaking. It's <laughs> Daru on a. Daru on a, um, on a um, speed gaming right now, man. That's crazy. Okay, finally Nikojiro finds the opening. Especially gets immediately sent on the floor right away. And again with the gold burst from Nikojiro. Gets grabbed? That was crazy, man. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> Hello! Counter hit my old friend. I'd like to talk to you again. I'm gonna break the wall with this freaking Fortissimo. And here we go with the hard knockdown. Again, man, with the jumping D-Tex to blow the uh, fuzzy guard timing from Nikoji. And just like this, Daru Sensei on match point. <laughs> that was a freaking speed run right there. Okay, here we go with the 2K to the again. Nikoji on the ground. Good conversion. That's crazy, Daru, you know, man, with the Tex. I get scooped by the spider, the slider head, though. Okay, finally, Nikos, you're getting stuff, and buddy gets hit, man. It's still not your turn. <laughs> now you go with the Mega Fist, and. Oh! Okay, good stuff from. Oh! Daru gets hit this time around. <laughs> okay, we go with the Flick. Oh! Okay, and here we go. Yeah, this is death. Good stuff from Daru, man. Extremely one sided. Of recovery and still not completely recovered. <clears throat> okay, and that being said, here we go on to the our losers bracket this time around. It's gonna be Takarin versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Immediate start of the round with Takarin being extremely aggressive, but Kohide also has his way um, to go about uh, being aggressive. And Takarin. Sharing the same features as Poka, which is run straight at your opponent and press buttons. <laughs> okay, here we go with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, what's it called with the uh, Nasante into wall splat into you are dead, Takarin san <laughs> Good stuff from Kohide takes the first round. Very nicely done. Okay, start of the round the far K counter hit into far K counter hit into the pro. That being said, Takarin is out of the corner. Ah, uh, tried to go for the uh, forest, unfortunately. Kohide was already half in the air when he decided to resort to using it. That being said, here we go, man. Look at the damage, man. Kohide on the verge of taking the very first uh, round of this encounter. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, nobody home. And again for the Trovile for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide. Takes the first match very convincingly. <coughs> And on to the second and back. We go with the flip kick. Koide finally the opening. <clears throat> ah, Trevo, nobody home, and Tagani not afraid to just run straight and grab, man. The mark of a very good actual player, not afraid to just go and not just spend all of his time just, uh, just, uh, ah, Pokemon, get a cut on this, yo, man. Non dealo. Just a matte, man. I number. Alright. Get the Pokemon. 
まあいけてるのにえー、っとあキャッチかキャッチかあれなんであれあーいけたいけたなんでわいあっ違うなまだいいシェフなんパズンコアフッションコアはまだいいパズンコアはまだいいパズンコアはまだいいパズンコアはまだいいパズンコアはまだいいパズンコアはまだいいパズンコアはまだいいパズンコアアハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Now, Pokemon should work, I think. Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect. Hi, eh, to. What? Eh, to. Poka, Poka, Kun, more time, Pokemon, yeah, it's okay. I'm now starting. Sorry. Eh, to. The point is, I'm changing. Now. Eh, more time, do it. Eh, to. Now, I can do it properly. Sorry. And here we go. Changing. あらあら、えー、とどこどこポケモンポッカポッカあーオッケーいいよはいポイント返したんで<咳> So don't worry about channel point for now Kyan will check that later Exactly <咳> Yeah exactly yeah.、Uh, Faut DP la maladie Ouais c'est ça mais il veut pas tout le temps non il veut pas tout le temps la maladie veut pas me laisser la DP là elle est en train de me elle est en train de bloquer tous mes wake up DP、hein. Mais bon, c'est pas grave, ça commence à aller mieux d'ailleurs. Je, je me porte mieux que la semaine dernière, je vais pas mentir. <coughs> ok, that being said,、uh, here we go on to the next battle. Enjoy the tournament run, thank you very much, much appreciated. <coughs>、uh, wait, just once again. Yeah, it should be good. Hey, <coughs> not just a turtle? Ok. Oh lord, and the burst, man, from Kohide. Ah,、oh, you can smell the Takarim once. This one's so bad. Good stuff. Good Nasante from,、uh, from Kohide. Why am I not turning into a turtle? <clears throat> ah, this is not Pokemon. Come the Pokemon s c a n And here we go with Kohide taking the second match, actually. No, Okashko not the Runde Moshwaki, my dear. Come the. Good stuff from Koki Day. I'm not going to get in. I'm not going to get in. So, yeah, so let's go back to the match. <laughs> And here we go with the far HS. <laughs> Quite on the verge of getting,、uh, on the verge of getting the wall splat. He really wants it.、Uh, no, Nasante here. Unfortunately, gets it by the two HS counter it, man. He's gonna do a lot of damage. And here we go with the snail.、Uh, nobody home for punish. Ah, Lord, he got hit by the snail again. 
Oh, good stuff by Koji. He finds the opening. And then Asante can win. This is gonna kill. And just like this, Kohide takes it 3 to 1, man. Good stuff. I think it was 3 to 1. Yes, it was. Oh, okie dokie. Again, Mugi using Leo. This is really uncharacteristic. I wonder what's uh, if he's doing this intentionally or if it's like. I don't know. I really don't know, actually. We shall see. We shall see. <clears throat> this is quite the horrific being. Of course. But you still like it, don't you? <laughs> I am a turtle. And uh, that being said, here we go with the start of the round. Sweet Wind being extremely nimbly. Oh, here we go with the Alpha Blade. No punish on it. Probably a little bit too uh, close to... Well, too far in order to get the punish. <laughs> here we go with the grab. And Sweet Wind with the Fake Cross Up. Ah, unfortunately for him, Mugi did find the opening. He's gonna get the... Okay, doesn't decide to... Oh, Lord, this is gonna kill. Bye-bye. Good stuff. The Jacques Chirac. The <laughs> guard break for the kill. Good stuff. Mm. Okay, we go to far HS, man. Oh, no, no punish on this one. This is unfortunate. We go to Suki. Ah, <laughs> Lord. Mugi using 2D as a... As a way to just move around the, 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 the stage, man. This is crazy. Here we go with the safe jump. And he's got the 4 HS plus the conversion station, man. Look at the damage. Kaboom. This is actually pretty nice damage. Not gonna lie. Good stuff from Sweet Wind gets the jump in. Oh, Lord. And here we go, the grab, good stuff from Mugi. Uh, unfortunately for him, uh, Sweetwin was able to block it correctly. But yeah, Sweetwin, uh, she did manage to get out of the corner. Very nice conversion. <laughs> and here we go, the gold burst, man. And Sweetwin lets it rip. Wake up DP, man. This is what I'm talking about. Boom! And. Here we go with the 6 HS for the kill. Sweet Wind definitely showing signs of life. Doesn't want to go down without a fight. Good stuff. And here we go with the Suki. Banzai, wall break, soft knockdown. Oh, no more D. Uh, probably tried to do a 2D there as well. Uh, and the wake up DP has been baited. This is big for Sweet Wind. If he plays this card right, can get a lot of damage. Uh, oh, uh, you can see Mugi trying to... Oh, that's his unfortunate. He could have probably killed, but it's okay. He got the chip kill with the Sukiyaki. And first match goes to uh, Sweet Win. Mugi probably going to change... Uh, yeah. Mugi this time around. Going to make uh, some work done by Nagori Mugi, probably. Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff from Sweet Win, though. Taking uh, a match off of... Uh, of Mugi, even with Leo now. It's really a feat in, in itself, definitely. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, damn it. Okie dokie, bridge and cookie. Duel one. Let's rock. Okay, here we go with the duo. Nago counter pick again, probably. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. <clears throat> Nago is his, uh, his main solo. Yeah, if he loses once with his with his sub, he's definitely bound to use. Yeah, here we go. Ah, this is bad for you. Wow, and the bait. The bait of the burst, man, and you are dead. Nagori Mugi in the house, yo. That was a sick punish, by the way. Good stuff by... Good stuff by Mugi, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's change his name. Nagori Mugi. Here we go. The real, the one and only. The classic burst in the corner into DP for chip. No matter where you are from it, it will happen. Indeed. Oh, okay, here we go to 2S counter. It is it. <laughs> this is so much damage. Ah, here we go to follow up 2HS for the juggle. And Sweet Wind's gonna get the wall break with the positive bonus. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <clears throat> okay, yeah, here we go with Mugi going with the quick dust. Unfortunately, Sweet Wind didn't bite. 
It's a BND. Oh lord! Oh lord! Okay, what is gonna be the answer? Oh, okay, sweet win, finding the opening, unfortunately. Oh, lord, and that Bagdash. That Bagdash was god, like, not gonna lie. Good stuff from Moogie, man. That was crazy good. Nice Bagdash. Good stuff from Moogie. Okay, on to the uh, third battle, actually. Uh, yep, Nagori Moogie did put one on the board. This is the third battle, let's see how this pans out. Ah, too late for the 6 feet. Unfortunately for him. He's gonna get juggled in the corner. Okay, Sweet Wind deciding to not break the wall. And now break the wall. Burst and DP. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very nice back dash from Mugi. Ah, no entire there. Oh, Lord. Okay, that was very, very strange. But if it did work, that would have been genius. Okay, here we go with Sweet Win again with the corner position. This should do. Good stuff. Okay, it takes the first round of this third match. <clears throat> so cool, one night. Oh, okay. Okay, so my points are, are working, actually. I'm happy. So, uh, I'm going to put... I'm going to become a, a Pixar lamb. Next time you see me, I'll be a Pixar one. <clears throat> okay, here we go with the jump in, and unfortunately, again, sweet win, just popping the burst immediately after he gets countered. This is not going to work against Moogie. You need to be careful. Moogie knows. <laughs> <coughs> and here we go with the... Uh, the pressure from Moogie in the corner gets the... Oh, Lord, what was that? Was that a teabag? No, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. No, no, Moogie doesn't teabag. Mugi is a very respectful uh, player. That was uh, he. He buffered the. Um, he buffered the. Um, the Beyblade. It wasn't a teabag. Trust me. Well, Mugi doesn't teabag. Uh, yeah, that was kind of. I was kind of surprised, but yeah, I think he buffered like the the Beyblade or something. That being said, here we go. Immediate burst from Mugi again with the Beyblade, man. This time around, we went on point with the the block and the punish. He's gonna get the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, the OTG, man. <laughs> okay, back to neutral. Ah, oh, Lord, and that with punish by Sweetwin was really good, actually. That's not gonna kill, though. Yeah, far from it. Okay, decides to keep the attention bar. We shall see why. Yeah, yeah, you can see, yeah, uh, you can see Moogie buffering. Ah! Oh! And that with punish with the 2D, man. Good stuff from Sweet Wind. That was crazy good. Little buddy home. Ah, very nice 2D again. He gets the Alpha Blade again with the Alpha Blade for the side switch. He has the counter hit. Oh, oh and the jump in by Sweet Wind. Sweet Wind looking good right now, man. Okay. It was exactly when to press buttons. Okay, made his made his um overheads. Safe. Ah, I guess hit by the far zone. This is unfortunate for him. Okay, we go with the air uh, trading with uh, the grounded entire that Sweet Wind tried to do. And unfortunately for Sweet Wind, he gets scooped by the grab and killed accordingly. Okay, match point. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> Whoa! <coughs> <coughs> and look at the damage, man. Okay, Sweet Wind in really dire straits right now. He needs to do something. Ah, and he did something. But not at the best moment. We go with Dua Sriyuki. Is that? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. What you did? Lord. <laughs> oh my god. Um, one. Oh, okay. Rx versus Koki Day. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'll get ready to go. <coughs> Okie dokie, Bridge and Cookie. <coughs> And here we go with the trade, man, in favor of RX this time around. Unfortunately, he gets hit by the standing... <coughs> the standing HS counter hit from Kohide. Kohide tried to get the conversion off of his uh, <coughs> his aerial attack. Couldn't quite get it, though. And here we go with the stained... Ah, okay, I see. RX tried to bait the burst from, uh, from Kohide. <coughs> and Kohide just 
dashing straight into the low of Rx, unfortunately for him. Okay, here we go, yeah. Oh no. Rx who probably immediately, yeah, he did this, but immediately cancelled the startup of uh, of the super of... Oh, okay. Wow, and the throw out for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide, man, on point, on point. <clears throat> Let's see how this spins out. Do the start. Immediate 2k 2d. Aris does have the. Oh, uh, he had the corner positioning. He's gonna get it here. <coughs> Very nice low check. And he gets the juggle off of the dust thanks to the stain. He's going to get the Nosdravia. Nosdravia, I'm sorry. For the stain state plus the heart knockdown. And here we go. You have to watch your legs, Kohide. Ah, and here he gets counter hit, immediately uses the overdrive for added damage and hard knockdown as well. Very nice grab. They go with Kohide, goes for the empty low, well, for the save jump. Gets the, oh lord, and doesn't even give any chance to RX to pop the burst, man. Just like this, Kohide takes the first round. It takes the first match, extremely convincing. Good stuff, good stuff. We get on to the second match. <coughs> and here we go with the grab from Kohide. Arius uses the Arbiter to try to stall Kohide in his um, attempts to dash forward and grab and apply pressure overall. Very big Nasante counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh, again with the Nasante. Couldn't quite get the juggle, unfortunately, for him. And oh lord, he tried to go for a quick dust, but I'm telling you, Arix is so on point. So on point when it comes to blocking the uh, the overhead. <coughs> and here we go with the pressure from Rx. <coughs> <coughs> Unfortunately, Rx got grabbed and he got also tech baited right here. We go with Dina Sante. Ah, oh, Lord, and the checks from Kohide, man. Kohide on fire, man, today. He's on fire. Wow, he even catches the D, the TP, man. The teleport. Good stuff from Kohide. Definitely on point, man. He had every single read during this, uh, during this iteration. During this, uh, <coughs> this set. Very good stuff. La pression de Jouet, t'as eu? C'est Oh, Lord, and that 6P, though. Couldn't quite get the juggle. Okay, goes low. Goes low again. <laughs> and here we go with the aerial overdrive from Kohide. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Oh lord. <laughs> and here we go with Rx. Trying to fight for his life, man. Trying to get out of the corner. Got out of the corner. He's got the steam state. Trying to get the Arbiter. Oh lord, is that gonna... No. Oh, no, but it's okay. He's got the air to air. And he's got the Arbiter for the kill. Good stuff from Oryx. <clears throat> oh, learn the 6P, man. Ooh, very nice choice of using the 2D right there from Kohide. He's got the counter and the juggle plus the side switch. And again with the grab. Oh, he tried to shimmy. That shimmy. <laughs> ah, the tick pressure from Kohide, man. This dude. Ah, oh, very nice. Anti right there from Tesla. He's gonna get the juggle. Oh, yes, he will. No, not quite, but it's still okay. <laughs> oh, here you go with the spiral arrow for the back dash. Um, the back dash punish. Ooh, uh, Okay, a little bit. Yeah, this is unfortunate. He tried to beat the birds, but Kohide holding on to it dearly. This is not gonna kill. Ah, and the overdraft for the kill. Man, and Kohide, man. He's on the verge of taking it. <clears throat> Here we go with the stain state. Ah, and again with the 2D counter it. Oh, and Kohide doesn't even care that he's staying all the time. We go with the grab. And the shimmy. This 
is not gonna kill, but this is gonna be extremely close to it. Here we go with the lows. And the Nasante for the kill. Lord Kohide, he didn't get... Popping Axel? Okay, this is interesting. So yeah, Nikohiro, as you know, is a Potemkin player, but uh, none of them are playing their their main characters, by the way. Nikohiro is uh, a pot main, whereas Mugi is a Nagoryuki main, so this is very, very interesting to see uh, what's going on right now, but we shall see, we shall see. And here we go with <coughs> the checks from Nikohiro. <laughs> Oh lord, here we go to Lin Sengeki, man. And the uh, command grab, and this should do. Not enough, actually. Just a little bit, yeah. And here we go to 6 HS for the kill. Good stuff. Nikoji takes the first round very convincingly. <clears throat> Let's see how this spins out. Ah, uh, no entire for Nikoji to. Ah, try to get the jump in from Mugi. Ah, and just like this, unfortunately for him. But you got the corner. Ah, okay, what you could you what you can do, I can do better. <laughs> Here we go to Lin Sengeki again. Here we go with the RC to make everything safe. Almost got the juggle. This is unfortunate. And Mugi is on the onslaught. Trying to, yeah. Get Nikoji to commit to something and finally catches him pressing buttons. Alright, so Mugi taking one as well. And here we go with the command grab again. And Sengeki tries to push Mugi out. With the guard point, nope. Nikoji not biting. Ah, the snail. Okay, he used the RC to make the snail safe. <laughs> again with the rainwater, man. Oh, and the forest counter hit. Again, then Sengeki, get out of here. Oh, Lord, you tried. Yeah. No one here. Nice confirm from Mugi. Gonna get the wall break. Or not. Fortunately for him, the Jacques Chirac whiffed. Oh, Lord, and the 6 p On point, Nikojiro. On point. Try to go for the command grab yet again. And this is a juggle. Oh, Good stuff from Nekoziru, man, taking the first match. Let's see if Mugi uh, decides to go back to Nekoziru, we shall see. And yes, he does. Yeah, he had to, man, he had to. <coughs> so, Mugi hopping the Nagoriyuki, yes, he does. Let's see how this pans out. Nikoji, you're uh, rocking a level 1000 Axel. This is actually pretty nice. <laughs> Here we go with the jump in. Ah. Nikoji, you catching the back dash. <laughs> ah, and the snail foot hits its mark. Wow. No, oh, I think you also got the, the the birds. This is very bad for Mugi. Nikoji definitely seeming extremely confident in this matchup. Uh, obviously, the well, not obviously, but I believe that the matchup is in favor of Axel. Here we go with the run up grab, man. Nikoji not afraid. Here we go with the confirms as well. Ah. But 2k for the for the for the for the save. He also uses a uh, side switch combo in order to get the wall break. Again with the run up grab, man. <laughs> oh, and the quick dust, and this should do good stuff from Mugi. Definitely not going down without a fight. Again, the run up grab, man. Because you has Mugi where he wants. Very nice Beyblade on punish on the snail. Good stuff. He's got the corner positioning. Try to go for a command grab. <coughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, here we go with the jump in a little bit too late. Ah, and the 2S, man. The 2S. At least he forced Nikoyiru to pop the burst. Nikoyiru doesn't have any resources. Like, well, he does have some tension, though. Is it gonna kill? It is good stuff from Mugi. Nice commitment from Mugi. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. <coughs> okay, and let's see. I think Nikoyiru might be switching to pot. <laughs> he might, he might. It's not true. And he does! Okay, so both combatants have stopped messing around and they have gone to their own uh, to their own mains. So this is the real deal now. Now we're actually we're watching the real fight. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Both combatants a little bit wary of committing to First blood. <laughs> there you go, the Garuda impact, man. Ooh, ah, the big Garuda impact on you. Ooh. <laughs> go Garuda impact again. He goes for the command grab. Mugi gets scooped. For 2K, 2D. Nope. Mugi didn't press a button. And he goes for the quick dust, but Mugi doesn't bite. Oh. And that whiff punish, man. That whiff punish from Nikoyiru. Good stuff. Okay, first round goes to first match. Oh, first round goes to Nikoyiru. Oh, and the big 2S counter it. Into big combo time. On first one, drops it. Very nice awareness that the Mega Fist, even on hit, was not... Was unsafe at that distance. Ah, the slider hit, man. Ah, too far. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Good. Badly time jump in right there. We really managed to hit him out to grab him out of it. Ooh. And here we go. Garuda impact fist. Oh lord, and he got hit. And this is gonna do good stuff for Mugi again. The awareness of this man. One round apiece. Who's gonna take it? Oh, two S counter hit. Corner carry. Ah, he's gonna get the wall break. To us again. Oh, and the quick, oh lord, the quick dust to catch him off guard. Oh, and the Beyblade, he used the actual airtime momentum of the Beyblade to go over the uh, Cider Head. Good stuff from, good stuff from Mugi. Takes the second match, the third match actually. Good stuff, good stuff. Now we have the uh, Guilty Gear Strive, X uh, I'm sorry, Xard menu song right now oh bgm love this bgm okay here we go mugi wanting to push and the quote jiru in the corner very nice knockdown oh a little bit too late for this eh? and he gets a command grab though good stuff from mugi uh, from niko <laughs> okay here we go niko yeah ah he's got him ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and the confirms of this person Look at this! It's not gonna kill by any means, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, Mugi doesn't go for the extension station. Oh lord. Oh! You can press his button there, eh? Okay, here we go, Mugi with the YRC. Oh, and the knockdown! And Nikojiru answering with his quick uh, dust as well for the kill. Oh lord, that just defends, man. That just defends from Nikoji are crazy good. Oh, yeah, he goes for the command grab. You got scooped again with the command grab, man. And here we go, man. Nikoji do on point. Two matches apiece, man. None of them want to let go. Good stuff. This is so tight. Okay, let's see who's gonna take it. Here we go, the slider head. You can see Mugi buffering the Beyblade just in case Nikojiru goes for a slider head just to go over it. Again, did you see? This is neutral, guys. This is how you play neutral in this game. 
They call you a neutral god, man. This dude's so good. Ah, and here we go with the command grab. You get scoop. Ah, and the mega fist, man. Oh, and he got the. Oh, Lord. This is the absolute worst thing he could have done, Moogie. Oh, and the wake up overdrive. Let's see. Yeah, it does, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Kaboom, Wasure Yuki. Okay, let's go. Ah, no, you don't. Ah, yep. Oh, you could have grabbed him, though? Um, I, you know better. Yo, Akimi, tu vas bien? Comment vas-tu? Here we go with the Garuda impact. Oh, and the flick. Ah, gets jumped on, Leo. Here we go with the 2A, ah, 2K, 6P, into the DP, into juggle, into kaboom. You're not dead, though. Here we go with the jump in. She tried to bait something. Okay, Mugi. Ah, and Mugi getting the hit with the far S. Okay, match point. Let's see how this pans out. Is Nikoju gonna make it a comeback or is Mugi destined to move on? Hmm. T'as vu? Ça fait plaisir. Hein? And here we go with the OTG and the grab on the back dash, man. Wow, he even got the bait on that grab, man. And here we go. And the confirms of Mugi. And just like this, Mugi moves on. Staying alive, bro. Good stuff. Good stuff from Mugi. That was sick, by the way. And Mugi takes it in the matchup, especially after the patch. So we shall be seeing this in a couple of seconds. So, Polka versus Daru Ino. Cast your votes. And uh, let's start. What the hell? Polka using. What? Polka using chip? Even though he has happy chaos, why? Why would you do this? But well, anyways, uh, he knows better than I do. T'as bien mangé pendant le réveillon, j'espère. Ah, grave, j'ai bien bien bouffé. Ça, c'est grâce à toi. J'ai chopé la, la grippe, par contre, malheureusement. Mais bon, ça va. On, 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 on le vit bien. <rire> mais j'ai grave bien bouffé, là. J'ai pas encore fini, d'ailleurs. Le 31, je vais, euh, je vais bien me faire plaisir grâce à toi encore. <rire> mais bon, ça fait plaisir, d'accord. Ok, uh, let's see. Well, I thought that Poké was gonna... He's gonna pop the Happy Chaos, but apparently he decided that uh, that chip was a better, a better, you know, better choice. I guess we shall see. We shall see. Okay, anyways, here Polka with chip and Darino with you know the fit the quality for the exacto. Okay, here we go with the empty low and Polka and offer to just run straight. He's gonna get yeah, but look at the damage though. Was it worth it? Damn, man. Oh, okay, here we go with the. <laughs> They're you know trying to go for the uh, for the megalomania, and good stuff from Lara, and just like this, he gets it. Lara takes the first match, one to zero. Good stuff, good stuff. Ah, yeah, Puka probably gonna switch it to Happy Chaos. This is definitely about to happen. Yeah, this is gonna be Happy Chaos time. Yeah, obviously. Like, I mean. Happy Chaos versus Eno. I mean, like, Eno's worst matchup is Happy Chaos, and Koka mains Happy Chaos, so why would he pick a uh, chip? This is, yeah, something I didn't quite understand, but we shall see now, yeah, he's back to Happy Chaos. Let's see how this pans out. But there has to be a reason, like, uh, for which he didn't want to pick Happy Chaos at the very first. But we shall see why. We'll see, we'll see. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do a lot better with Happy Chaos than then <clears throat> maybe he's not confident in his defense against Eno though. Ah, you mean maybe, yeah, maybe you wanted a character with the DP or something just in case, you know? I guess, yeah, for defensive purposes or something. <laughs> oh lord, okay, well, that's a horrible start of the round. And here we go with Poka already getting, yeah, mushed in the corner. Oh, he's got the mix, although he didn't believe in it. Believe in you, Poka kun. Again, here we go with the close S counter hit. <laughs> Okay, Poka wasn't quite... Ah, Lord, that backdash, though. That was crazy backdash. <laughs> oh, what was that? What was that? That was crazy. I didn't expect this at all. Anyways, there we go. First round to Daru. <laughs> Daru started the round. The start of the round dive, of course. Uh, the start of the round dive, of course. Anyways, here we go with Daru getting the wall break. <laughs> oh lord, the bag dashes are real. Uh -oh. oh, and the confirm. And the burst. Nice burst. 
Okay, well, Daru, man. Okay, well, Daru certainly showing us how the the Happy Chaos matchup is supposed to be played, eh? <laughs> Damn, man, this man is unstoppable, I'm telling you. Good stuff from Daru, gets the HCL. Oh, he goes under the 6HS. Oh, Daru cooking, man. Oh, he's, he's relentless, man. Ruthless, even, I'd say. Because his, his opponent is a 14-year-old, by the way. A 14-year-old Happy Gals play a very strong one at that, but it's just like... Oh, Lord. Ah, very nice 6HS counter hit right there. He's gonna get the juggle. And he's gonna get the wall break. Good stuff. Finally, Pulka getting something going on for him. This is the uh, set point, though, so Pulka needs something to go around right now. Oh, no. This is the worst thing that could happen. Here we go with the HCL. <coughs> But definitely not familiar with the Eno matchup, I feel. Okay, here we go. And uh Puka popping his last burst. Uh he is going to get the juggle. <coughs> oh no, he gets it by the HCL, but by the stroke. Ah, and the empty low for the kill. This is gonna kill. Good stuff. Damn, that real man. Wow. Okay, well, Darwino sending Polka further than Mugi versus Koki Day. Mugi again rocking the the Leo for some reason. I have no idea why, but <laughs> um, sorry. I'm gonna go take a glass of water, guys. I'm really sorry. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, sorry for the wait guys, I really had to drink something. And uh, Moody actually leading right now, even though he's not playing his, uh, his main character. <laughs> However, that being said, Koide puts one on the board as well. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that's too bad, Ranma. That's really too bad. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <coughs> I didn't expect it to be finished as, as quickly as that either. That being said, here we go with Kohide. <clears throat> Getting the wall break. Ah, uh, he decided not to use the um, his tension bar. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, here we go. And Kohide manages to take it with a perfect. Good stuff. Is Mugi going to change character? <clears throat> yes, he is. <laughs> Mugi changing characters. <clears throat> Yeah, but his his uh, Leo is actually very good. It's just that, yeah, his Nagoriyuki is better. <laughs> oh lord, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. On to the real battle now. Nagori Mugi versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> ah, Cybercat, merci beaucoup uh, pour le sub. D'ailleurs, j'ai même pas vu que tu avais reçu. Ça fait plaisir. Merci beaucoup. Hein. <laughs> Okay, and here uh, we go for the uh, start of the round, and Mugi already for single hit to pop the burst. Mm. Okay, and here we go mm. with the pressure from Mugi. Gets the uh, command grab. 
A very nice reactions right there from Koyu to whip on it. And I think he's gonna be over him. Gets Ooh, that was close. <coughs> and here we go with the wall break. And here we go, very nice with punish from Giovanna from Kohide. <laughs> he goes for the flip kick and the setup for the wall break, and he gets the kill. Kohide in the lead. Kohide has been absolutely playing out of his mind during this tournament. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff from. Oh, and nice juggle right there from Kohide. Wow, nice revival. Counter hit. <coughs> mm. With the close pressure. Wow, well, unfortunately, he cornered himself. <coughs> nice wall with bite, Mugi. Oh, Lord, and that whip punish again, man. Kohide on point. Ah, okay, here we go with the grab. Kohide forced to pop the burst. I wouldn't have killed, but just in case, okay. Mugi probably looking for the aerial overdrive. Ah, nice stuff from Goide. Is he gonna kill? Yeah, this, this is gonna kill. Nice stuff. Yeah. Not doing things overly complicated, just securing the kill. Goide up 2 0 on the verge of, um, of, um, of eliminating Mugi. Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> nice swift punish from Mugi. Ah, it gets the wall, it gets the, um, the, the back dash punish with the, um, command grab. <coughs> okay, here we go. Ah, he's got it. He's got the close slash, and this is gonna kill. Perfect. With a perfect man. Boogie not going down without a fight. <coughs> and here we go with the gold burst, man. He's got the ah, the command grab. Catching the back dashes of Cookie did that uh, this time as well. Is this gonna kill? No, no. This time is definitely not. <clears throat> nice damage though. And here we go with the kill. Boogie puts one on the board, finally. Let's see if Kohide is not going to be sh shaken by this. Very nice with punish, man. <laughs> Here we go with the tick pressure. <clears throat> ah, Kohide going with the kick flip. Gonna get the wall break. No. Oh, yes. Good stuff. Catch his back dash. <coughs> oh, that whiff punish with the Beyblade, though. Ah, and again with the kick flip. This is in the kill, by the way. Okay, good stuff from Kohide. Kohide on match point. <coughs> And here we go with the, the, with the command grab. Ah, Kohide got the gold burst. Oh lord, gets hit by the 2S though. Ah, and Kohide not afraid to press button, man. The kick flip again, impossible to, to, to see this. Oh lord, okay. <coughs> ah, 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 ah. Okay, good stuff from Kohide. Again with the kick flip. <laughs> Okay, he wants the wall splat. He doesn't want. Ah! Uh, is this gonna kill? Nice. Nice, not. Ah, damn it. Thank you, Guts. And he goes for a quick dust for the kill. Good stuff, Kohide. It's the privilege of fighting against Daru. Okay, so Polka versus Kohide. Let's see how this is going to pan out. <laughs> Polka, a young prodigy, 14 year old Happy Chaos player. Extremely potent. He has been winning tournaments and against big names, by the way. I I believe that he uh <laughs> he completely owned Gobo when he went to play at Art Revo. Even though he was well he was 14 year old, so he couldn't participate to the tournament. But he asked to play a, a set against Gobo and he completely like he completely dominated him. So extremely strong happy gals player. You should definitely uh, keep him on your radar. He's probably the future of uh, of Guilty Gear, <laughs> as it is. <laughs> Here we go with Poka getting the hard knockdown. <clears throat> ah, gets scooped by the uh, the back dash though. Very nice throw from Kohide. <clears throat> and here we go with the 
<coughs> with the chick from Poka with the standing feet. In the middle of the onslaught of, uh, of uh, oh, very nice stuff from Poka. Here we go. Gets the first round. <coughs> okay, here we go with the 2K, the 2D. <laughs> Trovao gives the wall, gives the grab. Thank you very much for the follow, Durban, by the way. <laughs> and Kohide forced to pop the burst. Unfortunately, hits the scapegoat. Ah, Lord. Ah, can you quite get the, the conversion? Oh, and here we go. Sweet, 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 the Sante. And this should do. Good stuff from Kohide. <laughs> He's the second round. We go with the third round. Oh lord. Yeah. Uh, and Polka gets him. Can we get the corner pressure? And yeah, you can see, man, Kohide just backdashing for his life, man, in the corner. <laughs> Kohide getting hit. Yeah, again, backdashing, man. Kohide definitely not, not a fan of getting wall splatted. Which is understandable. And just like this, Polka takes the first round, man. The first match, I'm sorry. To uh -oh. come back to the lobby after each match. And it's tedious as F. <laughs> because it wastes so much time. Like, I calculate it for a whole tournament. I waste at least 30 to 45 minutes just to have to go back to the lobby after each match. So it's it's just not, it's not doable. It's not viable. So might as well, I just interrupt the match when I get kicked out of the, um, the spectators. And then just redo a room and force everybody to play again. <laughs> it's like it, it wastes less time doing doing this than having to do like first one and redoing the match all the time. I don't have we and nobody got time to for that. Like seriously, I don't have time to. But I really hope they'll freaking they'll, they'll solve this problem. I really hope so. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Kohide taking the first match. <laughs> Get nice take pressure from Poga. Gonna get the corner position. Wall splat. <laughs> and again, Kohide, man. Kohide backdashing for his life in the corner. Oh! That's unfortunate. Ooh, very nice backdash, but again, man. Kohide backdashing for his life. Okay, Poka gets the second match as well. Thankfully, we didn't have a connection error. And here we go, the 2k, 2d. Poka got the knockdown. Okay, he's pushing Kohide versus slightly in the corner. <coughs> oh lord. Oh! The big counter hit right there from Kohide. Who catches the backdash of Poka himself. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Didn't use the overdrive though to secure a... Oh lord, what the... Ah, uh, this is gonna kill. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so, Koida is still staying alive. Okay, good stuff from Koida. Gets the tick throw. Lord. And you're the big six ages counter hit. Mm. Uh, and we're gonna get the doom six. Air six. Good, good stuff from Poka. Oh god. Just wants to. <laughs> just wants to, to snipe. As you should, my lord. This is gonna hit? It did! Damn! That was sick! That was sick! The cojones on Kohide, man. The cojones on Kohide. That was sick. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back to zoning time. <laughs> the point and click. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Polka on the attack, the offense this time around. Gonna get air shakes. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of coughing. I'm so sorry. Okay, and here we go with Polka catching the bag dash. And gets the kill with the 2k. <clears throat> it's 
Okay, here we go with Kohide immediately right off the bat. Dash into 2k. <coughs> Ah, very nice stuff from Polka. Tried to bait the burst, I guess. Good stuff from Polka. Trying to bait the burst again. <laughs> okay, go on the onslaught this time around. Catches back dash. Gets the juggle. Oh lord. Nope. Nobody home. <laughs> Oh, again, here we go with Akuid and the quick dust for the kill. Still uh, set point, unless Kohide manages to, make, to bring it back. Ah, nice uh, backdash chase right there. Ooh, and that backdash from Poga, man. Oh, gives a side switch as well, that was cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, nope, yeah, you've been dashing a wee bit too much. <laughs> And here we go with the air six. Air six. God, things are looking a little bit grim for Kohide. Oh lord, what was this? That was sick. And just like this, Polka makes it back too. Hopefully everything will go well for him. We shall see. And here we go with the prediction. Darino versus Polka. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so. Here's your grand final, Darino versus Poka. Darino in the winner's side of the bracket, so he only needs to win one set, whereas Poka is in the losers, he needs to win two sets if he wants to. <laughs> Just stay in the well two to win the, the tournament. Okay, nice stuff from Poka was able to hit Daru out of the Oh lord, this is bad. I think Daru tried to go for a dive, but unfortunately Poka uh, went underneath him and it kind of mixed up his uh, <laughs> his uh, inputs. That being said, things are looking good for Poka right now. <laughs> oh lord. You can see Polka trying to go. Oh lord, no, you got baited! Yeah, he wanted to K dive, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, and just like this. Yeah, Dario's gonna take it. Good stuff. Oh, okay. First round goes to Daru. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. HCL, HCL. <coughs> okay, good stuff from Daru. Okay, he's got the big combo damage right there. Doesn't go for wall splat. Let's go for regular overdrive. Let's get the, uh, the hard knockdown. And goes for the, yeah, uh, for the tech man. For the jumping D. Perfect. This is a huge statement from Daru, you know. 1 0. Let's see how this pans out. <laughs> oh lord. Darino not afraid, just freaking hover into empty low. Ah, okay. Nice check from Polka right there. You shall not send me your notes. I do not want to deal with them. Ah, nice HCL right there from Daru. <laughs> oh lord, no. No, no, no. Oh lord. And the resets are real, man. Oh no. This is the worst thing that could have happened. Oh, poor Polka. <laughs> that hurts. Good stuff, good stuff from Dario. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we're going straight for Gold Burst. <laughs> okay, and here we go, Polka. Ah, Polka. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, he even punished the safe uh, attempt, uh, for the attempt of Dario to make his stuff safe. Wow, that was that was tricky as hell. I got hit. Ah, and this is gonna be killed. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Good stuff. Okay, Polka. Finally staying alive. Happy Gal losing is the worst thing that can happen. Well, sure. <laughs> well if you put it like this, yes, obviously. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything else, yeah, but especially since I'm a Eno player as well, so yeah, obviously for me it's not a bad thing. But for Polka it is a bad thing. <laughs> that being said, here we go. Polka got the hard knockdown. <clears throat> See how this pans out. Oh lord, you're a little bit too... Yeah, I think Polka has problems like determining the... Um... Oh, he's got the burst though. He's got the burst. Polka alive, puts one on the board. <clears throat> uh, what I wanted to say is... Uh, 
I think, yeah, Poka, she needs to reevaluate re the distance that he tries to snipe Daru. Because more often than not, he gets hit by the HCL all the time. Okay, but that being said, Daru, back in the business. <laughs> okay, he's gonna get the wall splat. The wall splat tech, something that Daru doesn't do very often these, these, uh, these, time or the, these days. He would rather opt for damage and positive bonus rather than corner positioning. Oh, well, at least this is how I I, I see it. Oh, again, here we go. Uh, yeah, good stuff from Poka being a little bit more wary of the distance of HCL. Ah, yeah, yeah, no, nope. You're too close. Oh, again, here we go. Very nice awareness from Daru, man. This dude. <coughs> Okay, here we go. <coughs> Daru remaining very patient, man. And just like this, man. Daru up 2 to 1, actually. And we are on the verge of getting to tournament point. <coughs> Let's see how this pans out. <coughs> oh. <laughs> okay, here we go with Daru in the corner this time around, scapegoated. Very nice with punish right there from Poka. Couldn't quite get anything out of it though. <laughs> okay, very nice with punish right here from Poka. Finally getting something going on. Oh, but you got hit. Oh, let's see. Ah, <laughs> almost got it. Ah, yeah. Ooh, uh, he drops it, uh, and he beats the, the the grab, unfortunately, a little bit too late on his punish. <laughs> and just like this, we are on tournament points, ladies and gentlemen. Darino has been extremely, extremely dominant. He gets D2S counter hit. Like he goes for a regular delayed hop. Okay, Darino, very patient, man. Oh lord, and using the instant uh, H-dive <coughs> to get in, this is gonna kill? It is! That was, that was so quick. That was so quick, what the hell? 